Zoom has a really awesome feature that actually records, um, it collects all the data for all the participants that have attended your meeting and how long they've attended. Um, basically, you can use that as a way to take attendance or to verify that a student was in class the entire time. Um, to access this, though, you need to go into your settings from the Zoom website. So you're going to want to go to Zoom and you're going to want to sign in using your school email account. Once you've logged in, you're going to notice that on the left hand side, there's all of your different uh, setting options. You're going to want to go down to where it says reports and you're going to want to click on that. We want to look at the usage. This is going to allow you to see your meetings, the participants of those meetings, the number of minutes for each meeting, and you can also um, see how long individual participants were in your meeting. So we're going to click on this. Now, um, this is going to show all of your meetings that are within whatever range of dates that you have. So let's say I forgot to take attendance during my zero period. I could change the date to be today's date, which is going to be the first, and I could search just the meetings that occurred today. So I can scroll down and I can see I had five meetings today. I forgot to take attendance for my zero period. So all of this information here you don't really need. Um, I don't need to know my username, meeting ID, department, you know, I don't need to know when this meeting was originally created. I can scroll over to the right and what you are going to see that might be interesting is the start time of your meeting, the end time, the number of minutes it lasted, but this is the key one, the participants. If you click on participants, you are going to get a list of all of the participants for your meeting that day. Not only are you going to get a list of the participants, but you're going to get a list of who joined, what time they joined, what time they left, and the number of minutes that they were there. Now, there's two options up here at the top. The very top one, export uh, with meeting data, you don't really need. It just says how many minutes the whole meeting lasted, the title of the meeting, the start and end time, and the total number of participants. If you want, you can include that in your export, but you don't have to. Um, this show unique users is actually really helpful because um, sometimes kids will log in and they'll immediately get kicked out and they'll have to try to re-log in again. So this original list actually shows, um, I have a student here who was logged in, if you look at the timestamp, for 10 seconds and then she got booted. So she, this rounds to the nearest minute, had a duration time of under a minute that she was in the meeting. And then if I look down here, she appears again a second time, but now it shows that she was there for the entire period. So this list is actually really long. If I were to scroll down, you would see that there's like 60 entries, even though I only have 29 kids in the class, um, because it's, it's showing an entry for every time someone enters and leaves, even if it's the same person entering and leaving multiple times because their Wi-Fi is unstable. So the way to fix this so that you just show a list of everybody's name once is you click Show Unique Users. This now condenses my list down to uh, showing each student's name once and the total number of minutes they were there. So this can be really helpful in taking attendance if you forgot to take attendance. It can also be helpful in verifying that a student was actually there the entire time. So if you look down here at the bottom, you could see this student logged in for four minutes. They logged in during the time that they thought I was taking attendance and then they left. So they essentially cut the class and this right here is evidence that that occurred. I can now, if I want, if I need to have a record that this happened, I can export this data into an Excel spreadsheet and I have it for my own personal um, records. However, you don't necessarily need to export this unless you have to send it to an admin or um, attendance office because at any point in time, you can come back to this reports tab and you can pick any date range you want. So let's say I have a kid who I swear that they showed up for their quiz on Monday the 9th, but the quiz is blank. It's almost like they just showed up and they didn't do it. I can enter in that date, I can click search, and then go to whatever class period that that student was in. Let's say it was the fifth period. I can click here and verify were they there, did they log in even for a minute or two, on this date. So this is a really helpful tool to use.